Okay, we're making this video for the Miracle Dog Karma. She um, she was one of our pups that we raised out of our, our two dogs that we really, really um, enjoyed and liked and their genetic treasure. That's why we still and, and spent so much money on trying to work with Karma. Um, we sold her to a trainer and uh, through the trainer had problems with um, a divorce and some home problems, I guess. And, but she was trying to show karma and was always complaining that she was three-legged. And so anyway, uh, through all of that, we got karma back. When we got her back, she was less than 60 pounds. She was, I think, 56, 56 53 pounds, something like that. Um, was three-legged, no doubt about it, and had a bump on her hip. And so we got her back and we thought, well, I mean, she had like no muscle tone at all in that hip. Uh, she hadn't been doing, um, using it at all. And so we took her and uh, let her out and actually run here on the ranch. And so um, try and get some muscle and see if that would, would help, but um, it didn't. And so we took her over to the vet, and to our local vet here, and they x-rayed the hip and they didn't know exactly what that was on that bone and they, they, uh, they were worried about it. they said you know what oh, no. and uh, so they uh, suggested we take her over to the university so we said okay so we took her over to the university Carmen get up ah, come here come here come here get girl get girl and so we took her to the university and they did the scan and they did a biopsy on that uh, mass to see what that was and came back with a cancerous sarcoma and the uh, verdict that they gave us was she had three months to live at that point. So um, they recommended treatment. The treatment was to remove her leg and half her pelvis and, and whatnot and that would uh, give her maybe another six months. So even with uh, that kind of surgery, they were talking about increasing her life for nine months. Well, that was, when was that that we? October. It was October that we took her in there. And so that was unacceptable to us to be able to mutilate a dog like that. So that's when Jan found this other alternative and we started that treatment with this doctor. And it just started getting better and she started doing really well. and. And started getting around, so the lump went down, she started running around, she started getting muscle tone. You can see right now, I mean, she's she's a good, healthy dog. Karma, sit. Good girl. And she just got back from being up um, on vacation with my wife and running around the lakes and on the ranch for, for eight, nine days and, and having a great time. And, and she enjoys a great quality of life. And so through this treatment, she has done excellent. We've took it, taken her back to the vet's office and they took an x-ray of it again and said, you know, uh, told us that unless you knew something was there or had ever been there, you wouldn't know anything was there. I mean, there's kind of like a shadow and if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't find anything. So right now, you know, she's in total remission, doing extremely well, and we have all the faith in the world of this treatment option. Um, Myself, I've been um, had a cancer issue for seven years, and if this team had a human uh, trial, I'd sign up for it. So, yeah, we like we like what's going on with Karma, and hope and pray that uh, this team gets to continue what they're doing.